It's an incredibly exciting time to be in the world of communications and marketing, and here at WE, we believe in a partnership approach. We have an incredible team of some of the smartest talent in London, but we also believe that there is just so much happening in the world of communications. We have to bring together like-minded people, companies, startups to provide a wide array of services to our customers. And so what we've done is, tonight is uh, a good example of it, is, is We Plus Friends has been launched and uh, tonight seven startups from across the UK will bring virtual reality solutions to the table, relook the way we imagine data and present data to uh, how we engage via video with uh, the customers at the heart of it all. So we're looking forward to tonight and uh, you'll hear lots more about We Plus Friends. This is what We is all about. It's a partnership approach. It's about bringing the best solutions to the client at the right time. And ultimately, it's also having fun and bringing networks together. So look out for more from We Plus Friends. People are always connected, you all have phones around, so you can actually understand that very easily. Uh, whether it's on your phone, tablets, uh, devices like this, um, where we're obsessed with measuring everything about ourselves. And that just means there's more data streams out there about people and their behavior. Um, actually very valuable information because personal data as an industry is already worth $500 billion. And we started with more of the consumer angle of, well, people have started wondering if this data is out there and it's valuable, why aren't we getting anything out of it? So why aren't you, the people creating the data, actually benefiting from it? So we're a platform for people to actually come in, log in and connect up their, uh, their different data sources with a few clicks. We then do all the hard work of aggregating this information and giving you, as brands, um, insights about your consumers, your competitors' consumers, your target consumers, consumers, any group that you want to analyze, you pay us and we share the revenues back with our users. So users don't lose any privacy in the process and you're learning from their actual natural behavior. I run an analytics company called Brand V and I'm here to invite you to join a movement. I'm here today to kill the dashboard. Everyone loves dashboards, right? It's beautiful, <laughs> intuitive. It's a fabulous data puke. It's fine if you are an analyst. It's fine if you're a data person. But when you're a manager, a director who needs to deliver business, then it's definitely not fine. We created Maya. It's a chatbot for analytics. You ask your questions and you get your answers, literally. So by 2017, we know that nearly seven tenths of the internet is going to be video. So how are we going to how are we going to satisfy this demand? Well, the way we see it is why don't we turn the people that consume this content, so whether this be fans on Facebook or employees reading newsletters, why don't we make them create the content? And how are we doing this? Well, the way we're doing this is through our mobile phone app and studio. So think of the studio as a pre and post production house for a video or still uh, project. So what you do is you would set up a project and put in some challenges, say. So, um, and then what this does is it links into the mobile phone app. And what a user does is they download the app and they're presented with these challenges. And then what they do is they film or they take photos and these upload in real time to the online studio. And from here, you can then decide to post it out to social media, you can post it back out into the app. I'm the global CEO of Happy Finish. We're a visual creative services company. Started about 11 years ago, specializing in retouch for stills and CGI. If you go into Night Town anywhere in the world and you see images on the wall, they've generally been done by Happy Finish. And like I said, two years ago, we started working with virtual reality and we've gone from being 60 people in London uh, to 150 people globally now. We're creating many different experiences. I'm gonna share two with you. So I thought I'd share a business-to-business -business example and a business-to-consumer example. Having it as a CGI experience where you can put on a virtual reality headset and be inside the cockpit and um, interact with hotspots to see what the software does is easier to transport, it's easier to update. We developed a VR solution that saved money transporting physical objects, generated interest in and PR. We always say VR generates PR. Uh, and educated and captured leads and initiated dialogue, dialogue with the prospect. We're basically a web platform that lets agencies uh, like we put consumer-generated content at the very heart of brand campaigns. 
What does that mean? You can engage, activate, and reward your audience across all the different social networks using the power of a hashtag as a call to action. So the story is not complicated. It's not go to this network and do this. It's not download this and do that. It's simply share content on whichever platform you already use with this hashtag. We've even got nine different types of campaign that are the most frequently used campaigns by our clients to date. And each of these campaigns can be kicked off in as little as two minutes. And the integration with websites is as simple as a single line of code to showcase user content in that way. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Roly from Resonance. Uh, I'm going to just show you one example of Resonance and how we do it across our big network, 60 million unique users of premium publishers. You found your article. Again, no need to download an app. No need to do any of that hard yards. You've just found an article that you want to read. And boy, you're lucky. You're not going to have to pay for this one with money. You're not going to have to sign up for a 12-month subscription. You've just found the article you're after. Title, first two paragraphs, and then there's an ad. And if you just want to continue reading, because this is an article worth reading, all we've asked you to do is answer the question below. This one relating to Sage, which is highly topical, because the consumer has just found an article about finance and is highly relevant, contextually targeted. So fantastic, fantastic way of ensuring that you've reached the community you're after and had the conversation, albeit a micro conversation, had the conversation that you wanted in the controlled environment that you needed. We're currently entering this kind of golden age of music where we move from ownership to access. There are currently 500 streaming services around the world now. Pandora, which is only in the US, a music streaming service, is the second most used app in the world. Um, there's a lady called Mary Meeker that you might have heard of, who's the queen of the net, who talks about the two most important things are the things on your ears. You know, whichever way you look at it, there's some incredible insights going on out there. So music is clearly, you know, social. It's there for sharing. People want to share that. I don't know if you know that, but the original Walkman, some of you might not remember it, um, it had a his and her jack. So you can actually plug in two headphones and you can share music. Some research that we've done um, with, our, with our testing our users has proven that actually that people are sharing music and they're sharing it privately and they're mostly sharing it by text and WhatsApp. Um, the fear of kind of sharing on Facebook is, is quite key. That people believe that it's social suicide if, if your mum or your gran likes something that you're sharing. So they don't necessarily want to do that. So there clearly is a fundamental challenge here that we believe is, is out there. Um, and this is where we think that Crowdmix comes in. Um, if you look at the social networks out there, there is no one doing this piece, the music and social piece. Not since the heyday of MySpace with its 75 million users on a monthly basis is anyone covering all of these areas. And we believe this is where we can step in as a business. This type of thing is critical for us. We have to continue learning. We have to expose our teams to new, creative, innovative forms of technology. And then we have to bring that to our clients to make sure that they see how creative and connected to that technology and those innovations we are.